In about 40 minutes, I am starting my fourth year of medical school. And from everything that I know about a fourth year in medical school, it is possibly the toughest, the longest, and the most gruelling. I am hoping to God that's an exaggeration and not entirely true. I'll be perfectly honest, I'm kind of excited to start fourth year again. I think having the year out and doing my masters was a really good thing to do and it's made me very excited to go back in and be full medical. Sure, doing medical research was keeping me sort of medical adjacent, but now I'm fully back in the weeds and I am studying like crazy throughout the summer to ensure that I don't you know, mess up when I am predominantly on placements. I'll give you more information after I've had my intro lectures where I will get told my placements, what to do, what I'm going to expect, and what I need to do for the next two weeks. Meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy my tea and listen to the news because I'm a stable adult and that's what stable adults do. It's been a long time since I've had lectures, about six months, and I've forgotten how tiring it is. I've had six, seven hours of lectures, all introduction, and I think that my brain is very, very drained. I'm very tired. It is 6 p.m. I'm gonna go straight to sleep because there's a lot of work that I need to get done. I'm fairly sure I started off this video very upbeat and energetic, but it seems to have died off very, very, very quickly. Now, as it's the beginning of the year, I'm gonna take this opportunity to set out a little bit of vlogging admin, trying to set out what I'm doing throughout the year right at the start so that you're aware of how this year is gonna work. First and foremost, uh, I am a brand ambassador for the medical education company Quesmed, use code NAPPY10 for 10% off your annual subscriptions. At least I think it's annual, I'm not sure it might be all of them. Go find out, go have a look, there's a link below. When it comes to society stuff that I will be doing this year, I am part of just one society, MSRC, the Medical Students Representative Council, which if you're not aware, is like the student government. I hold an exec role this year of treasurer. My main role will involve managing the, uh, well, funds and managing the cash flow for this society and the approximate 40 societies underneath MSRC. Now we come to the main academic stuff of fourth year, which can be broken down into three parts. The first is exams. I have one summative and one OSCE. Both of them will be in June. That means I don't have to really worry about that until June. Next, we get to clinical rotations. I have five this year. I have cancer and continuing care. I have acute critical care. I have uh, gynae, obstetrics and sexual health. I have pediatrics. And then I finish off with psychiatry. These are the specialist placements that you get in fourth year. Third year is more general stuff. Fourth year is more special stuff. These clinical rotations will last six weeks each. And because of these rotations, I want to bring up something very important that I have to think about when vlogging anything in medical school. As a medical student, I am, for better or for worse, a healthcare professional. And the standards that I have to hold myself up to are higher than that of a normal, average, everyday citizen. This is because I have direct contact with patients and a lot of the things that I will do in my education will affect patients and healthcare teams directly. Doing social media and being a clinician or training to be a clinician is something that is very difficult to balance and very easy to get wrong. 
which is something that I'm always concerned about when I'm talking about anything clinical in any video I've ever posted. To make my life easier this year, I'm going to delay the time at which I am talking about any sort of clinical rotation until after I have done this. This is to ensure that I don't talk about anything at any point regarding any placement that I'm currently on at the time of posting. And as always, I will maintain complete anonymity when talking about any clinical experience that I do. The last big part of fourth year is a module called ESREP. ESREP is the research portion of the year. Here at Leeds, the curriculum is academically oriented and research oriented because Leeds is known for its research work and they build it into the curriculum. ESREP will involve undertaking a research project over the next two years, so across years four and five. However, the majority of the work will be conducted in year four. For this project, there are a couple things that I need to be doing at the beginning of the year. The first is setting out a project protocol, which is a document setting out what your research project will be. And the second is a literature review. We have been asked to do a literature review on the topic of our project and we have to critically appraise five papers. Thankfully, because I have done a research degree, I've done this stuff before, so I'm fairly used to it and I'm going to try and get it done, well, as soon as possible so that I'm going to be spending the majority of my time studying all of the conditions, all of the management things that I need to do and all of the drugs that I need to know. Year four is heavy on management and making plans and being able to prioritize different things. That's what I'm going to be mainly examined on in my clinical um, exams at the end of the year. So I think I have talked far more than enough about what I am doing this year. If there are any more things that I'm going to try and set out um, with my vlogs, um, I will set them out as I go, but I think I've covered the main stuff that I'm going to be doing this year. And because I've done that, I'm now going to go out and do the agenda that I have planned for today. The morning, I'm going to revise, and in the afternoon, I have an EDI training meeting uh, because of my uh, rep, student rep role on MSRC. And then in the entirety of the afternoon and evening, I'm going to be doing my Ezra project protocol and my Ezra literature review because I think I can get the majority of it done today. The project protocol is 2,000 words and the uh, literature review is 3,000 words, which is far less than I had to write for my masters. So should be good. I am the only person in the entirety of the airport lounge at the moment. I've been sitting uh, with my laptop working on this appraisal for the last two hours. I got a little bit distracted throughout the rest of the afternoon. I've written about one third of it, um, which is not bad progress. Uh, I'm going to try and stay here for another couple hours maximum and try and get the majority of this work done before I head home to sleep because I'm getting a little bit tired doing all this writing. At least I'm good at it though. And it's good to get all of this work out of the way right at the start of the year. Now, as a med student, when I'm in clinical rotations and in hospitals and on wards, um, I need to be in scrubs. Um, and this year, I've decided to take the opportunity to get myself a custom set of scrubs. Uh, I've had these tailor-made because I'm a weird shape and the standard uni scrubs that you get uh, don't fit me. But obviously, as these aren't standard issue uni scrubs, um, I still need something to identify that I am, in fact, a student. Last year on the wards, I used this. This is my student ID badge, which says I am a student doctor in my third year, and my name 
and my school. Um, today we are getting a new one of these, which obviously says that I am a fourth year. I think it's a different colour. It's now um, 10 to 9 and I have just finished my project protocol. It took over six or seven hours, uh, which was far longer than I was expecting, but it is the first piece of work that I've done uh, in fourth year, and it's been done very, very early, and I am very, very tired. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you very much for watching my first peak of fourth year of medical school. I'm gonna go out this evening because I deserve to blow off some steam, and you are going to see an outro. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.